Hey Virgos, welcome to the first half of November love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, just a heads up, I'm, my head's covered because I messed up my hair, okay? <laughs> I try to touch up my roots and usually I'm pretty good at it because I've been doing it for a few months now. Yeah, had, had a little bit of a, of a hair incident. So anyway, I'm going to be wearing a hoodie for a little while till I get that fixed, okay? Uh, but Virgos, it's really good to be back. I had to take these couple days to get my voice back, deal with my asthma, my allergies, I'm back in business, okay? So those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or energy from someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to, okay? Um, also, guys, keep in mind that, you know, it is energy, so it is fluid, so it can be reversed or vice versa. So Virgos, I, I picked, oh my God. So I, I was actually kind of laughing when I was picking up on some of the energy because you were feeling very militant, okay? There's a very, very militant sort of energy that I was picking up on. Um, and it's funny because I actually picked up in the partner reading that I did earlier and I was like, and what did I hear? It was uh, marching orders, marching orders. I heard marching orders. So you could be connecting someone in the military. You could have military experience. Um, this next part's going to be weird. I'm not going to talk politics. Um, they showed me the USSR Russian flag. Don't know what that's about, but that's what they showed me. That's for someone out there. Not for me. That's for, that's for someone out there. That's for someone out there. The color red, it will be very significant for you, Virgos, I feel. Um, just keep in mind that you're paying attention to your lower chakras, your root, especially, and that you're very grounded during this time, especially the first half of November, like I said in my New Moon Scorpio video. It's going to be kind of a roller coaster during this time. So just stay grounded, okay? Virgos, Someone is very independent. I feel like someone's in that full energy of heading into the new, like a new start for themselves, very confidently, very assured of themselves, but someone feels like it's a very selfish act, okay? I feel like another person is looking at this independent energy, like, you're so fucking selfish for doing this kind of shit. Like, someone else could be, um, excuse me, going into the entertainment industry or part of the entertainment industry and someone might have an issue with that, okay? Or finding it to be a little selfish or it's almost like taking away from them in sort of a way, like taking away from them. Uh, Virgo, I do kind of feel like this is you acting in that full energy, but keep in mind it can't be someone else. Um, as someone gains more independence, someone else feels like they're losing power. Someone feels like they're losing control and they're not liking it. <laughs> they're not liking it. They're, they're, they're really not coping with it very well. I was picking up on another energy um where it's like someone's kind of how do I say this like you know how you know something's bad even if you've done it yourself you kind of know something's bad but you don't really know how bad until like you see someone else go through it or like someone you really care about or someone you're close to or it happens to you personally it was that kind of energy and then I saw the seven of swords and seven of cups in reverse they showed those cards to me just in my mind's eye they showed them to me um so someone <laughs> either just got a taste of their own medicine Virgo or they're just gaining clarity on how shitty they might have been in the past towards you or other people okay because I feel like it's kind of kind of an epiphany about something that's already happened in the past like almost like you know seven of swords in reverse that's my old crime card like visiting the, the you know visiting the crimes of past the crimes of past past crimes past crimes you know what I'm trying to say Virgo um yeah, so that's what I was picking up in the meditative session. But Virgo, like I said, I feel like you're in a very independent energy. Um, almost militant for some of you and very confident. It's like the more confidence you gain, the more someone else feels like they're losing power and control. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle. Let's see here. Please include messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. I'm hearing nothing's this sweet. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Nothing's this sweet. Hmm. Nothing's this sweet. Is it food? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not food. That's interesting. That's an interesting phrase. Nothing's this sweet. Someone might be having trouble trusting you, Virgo, or you could be having trouble, tr trouble trusting someone or a situation. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. I heard crocodile tears. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Virgo, this is going to be a good one. I'm excited. It's going to be a very good one. 
Placing forth messages of truth, thing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First half of November. Someone's thinking about buying a Jeep. Interesting. They said, wait. If you're thinking about buying a Jeep, wait. Especially if it's a 4x4, four four, wait. That's, I don't know why they're saying that, but they're saying wait. I don't know much about cars, but that's what they're telling me. You know who you are. Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Summon Rising Venus. And it's an interesting color. Okay, sorry. And there's a whole download for someone out there. It's a really interesting color. It's like kind of like a khaki like it's it's like a, almost like a, it seems like a custom color or like limited edition color and it's definitely a four by four jeep brand i don't know what kind but it's because i don't know cars but it's like it's definitely jeep brand i saw the brand and it's definitely a four by four um but it's like a light tannish color they're saying wait i don't know why but they're saying wait two of wands in reverse aries energy indecision indecision i just heard i can't follow Ooh. I can't follow I can't follow I I can't follow that Virgo I can't follow that I feel like this is a I feel like this is the energy that's looking at the independent energy like what the fuck okay <laughs> I feel like that's that energy over there I was oh too many too many spirit that's too many Placing forth messages Whoo! wow king of swords um Aquarian energy it could also be Gemini or Libra with the Hierophant Taurian energy uh someone's in court i'm just saying someone's in court someone's in court or going to church and seeing like head honcho people okay i don't i don't know hierarchies i don't know titles and all that shit uh king of swords is usually a judge or a lawyer hair font is institutions and governments okay someone's definitely consulting a lawyer of some kind could be for a divorce or could even be for for marriage but someone's like i can't follow i can't follow kind of leans, leans more towards separation here okay this is also someone um listening to their higher self Listening to the higher self and getting advice. Interesting. Getting advice. I really feel like someone's consulting a lawyer on something. I feel that really strongly. Someone's consulting a lawyer on something. Someone could be taking on a position in an institute. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Someone's taking on a position in a higher institution or getting a promotion. But it feels like institution. It feels like government. It feels like government. It's definitely a big one up from whatever this person was doing before. Male or female doesn't matter. Yeah, male or female doesn't matter. Someone here is very traditional. Talk about militant. I'm surprised the emperor is not out here. That very militant energy, I'm feeling that right here. Someone's a rule follower. Big on tradition. Big on tradition. And again, this energy of I can't follow that. I can't follow that person or I can't follow that, that, whatever that is. That's going to resonate for someone out there. Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love. Virgo, what are you doing? Magician, mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Ace of Wands. Someone's manifesting something big, something stable, something long-term. This could be manifesting a career. Um, and if, if it's a career, I feel like it's a new career. I feel like it's the start of something new and something really big. It could also be manifesting a family, manifesting a home, manifesting big piles of money. Okay, legacy. We're talking decades of security here. This is what someone's manifesting. For some, someone's trying to manifest a marriage or trying to make a marriage happen or some kind of long-term familial commitment. It feels like there's legality behind it, though. Yeah, it feels like there's legality behind it and there's a lot of passion for it. And like I said, it could be career. Some this is marriage, some this is family, some this is career, but it's big. Whatever it is, it's it's big. Let's see what else wants to come out here. But there's this indecision of like, I can't follow that. I can't follow that. I can't follow that. I feel like whoever's saying that really wants this and really wants to manifest this. But there's a big, big pause of hesitancy of I don't think I can follow that person or that. It's just that's how they keep wanting to give it to me. Please bring forth messages of truth, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the first half of November. Someone could be wanting to uh, get a divorce to pursue another relationship or wanting to get a divorce uh, to pursue a, a career change. I feel like if that's the case, it's like there was a very big difference of opinion and there's already been a straying away of some sort anyway. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Something about time. Wait, what is this? Something about time? Someone feels like they're running out of time. 
Oh, wow. We're going heavy, Virgo. Someone feels like they're running out of time for their dream. For their dream situation. Situation. Yeah, dream situation. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, situation can be a lot of things. But someone feels like they're running out of time, and I feel like it's a question of age. Yeah, because it almost feels like a change of direction towards what their dream really is. This person's recently been inspired. This person's recently been inspired. Um, male or female, doesn't matter. It feels very masculine, though. Gotta be honest, it feels very masculine, but it could be a female. It's energy. We read energy, not gender, right? But there's this question of, is there even enough time? And it feels like it's a question of age. Someone has an issue of time or worries about time too much. Hmm. Okay, I feel like the cards are pretty calibrated, actually. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started, Virgo, because we're like 10 minutes in anyway, right? Oh, no, come back. Okay, there we go. All right, Virgos. Let's get into your reading here. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages can be for those who need to hear them, as you heard me set the intention. So because of that, not all these messages are for everybody. So if it ain't your message, it ain't your message, and that's okay. Is that for somebody else? Please check out any other reader we have on YouTube. They're all pretty fabulous, okay? Don't, hold th don't throw hate or shade. Ain't your message. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Uh, keep in mind, energy can be reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating with the roles are reversed, just switch them up. And as I said before, we read energy, not gender. Everyone has masculine, feminine energy, so don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. This is for the first half of November, but keep in mind that energy is uh, energy and time are both fluid and not linear, okay? So whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. This could even pertain to something that's already happened to you, or this could be something that's really far in the future as opposed to right now, okay? Okay, let's get started. Any messages for Virgo? Regarding love for the first half of November. Any messages for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November? Yeah, I'm like, I keep getting this thing about tradition. Someone really, really is very traditional. And the other person might not be. The other person might not be here. Because I feel like it's being brought up as an issue or a concern or a hang up. Any messages for Virgo? Regarding love for the first half of November. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. I've never said that before. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, Virgo, I love you. Like, I'm I really picking up on some Virgo energies that are so in alpha mode, it's like not even funny. Actually, let me get some water, guys. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. Any messages for Virgo? Any messages for Virgo? Regarding love for the first half of November. <laughs> oh, oh man, someone someone wants that long haul. Someone wants the long haul here. Whether it's just career related or family, I feel honestly, I feel like someone wants a home or like wants to build a family home or build a home with somebody. The hermit, Virgo energy with the ten of cups. Someone's chasing their happy. Someone's chasing their happy. Hermit her, hermit. Jesus. Ah. Mercury retrograde. Hermit always follows the star. Hermit always follows the destiny. Yeah. Someone wants their ultimate happiness. Someone wants their dream. For some, this dream could have been something that they put on hold for a while. Others, it's a newfound dream. Interesting. Others, it's a newfound dream. Also being drawn uh, to the 10 and the 9. The 9 on the Hermit card and the 10 on the 10 of cups here. Yeah, there's, there's some... There's, this person's being held back. Virgo, whether this is you or someone else, they're being held back. Eight of Pentacles... <laughs> 10 9 8 10 9 8 yeah it's like put on hold put on hold put on hold uh, i i can do that next year i can do that five years from now i can do that then i can do that then and then you know 15 years later whatever it is it's like oh shit <laughs> i hit the snooze button a long time that's what i'm getting someone really put their dreams on hold and now they want to put the work in on it eight of pentacles is more virgo energy someone really wants to make it happen any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo regarding love? Ay, ay, ay. Ha! <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. You ready? I love tarot. <laughs> Two of cups, Cancerian energy, could also be soulmate energy for me as a reader with the ace of freaking wands. Oh my God, someone is like so fixated on making a connection happen. 
on making this shit happen. How do I chase my dream? How do I chase my happy home life, my happy dream family life? It feels more about romance and family than than um, business here. But business, it could just mean that you're working with a soulmate. Two of Cups. There's there's mutual love here that this per that this person wants. Sorry, I bit my tongue earlier. <laughs> also talking funny. Mutual with that Two of Cups energy here, and a lot of passion there for it as well. Someone's very disciplined. I was gonna say determined, and that didn't feel right. Discipline. Someone's very disciplined in wanting this. Someone could have met someone at work, by the way, though the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, just saying. Someone could have met someone at work. Not necessarily, but I feel that. Or school. Any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November? Any other messages for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November? Wow, overall energy. <laughs> Page of Cups. So what's interesting is underneath that, we do have the Five of Swords in reverse. Venus in Aquarian energy, and then we have another page. We got the Page of Pentacles here, okay? That Five of Swords in reverse, no more games. That's what I'm hearing. No more games. Even though these are pages. <laughs> Don't pages play games? They're children, right? Um, no more games, no more games, no more games. Someone really wants to make a tangible offer, a very genuine offer offer of emotion as well but five of swords in reverse says tells me that maybe there was some games going on before because this is someone who means business this is someone who's not fucking around this person whatever they want to offer i do feel like the reason that they're in an eight of pentacles energy is because they're worried they don't have enough it's almost like building a nest egg um worried that they don't have enough but it's like here's what i can offer now if you hang in there with me we can get there. You know, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. It's kind of cute. Um, but no more games. No more games. No more games. I think that's the energy I was picking up on before. Of, like someone's kind of realized like the clarity of like maybe the stuff that they've done in the past. Because this person's not in their ego. I want to I want I want to say any more, to be honest, Virgo. I want to say any more, not in their ego anymore. Um, but no more games. No more games. So let's look at the Hermit with the Ten of Cups. Let's look at the Hermit energy. I mean, Ten of Cups is just like ultimate yumminess, right? <laughs> ten of Cups is literally having it all in the emotional happiness department and usually with a family or a soulmate of some sort, okay? But let's look at the Hermit because this is basically like trying to like do the strategy plan, trying to figure it out. Ow. Oh, trying to figure it out. Um, Let's do Gilded on this one. Turn up the Hermit. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, now I'm getting that hesitation again as I'm tapping into the hermit energy. The 1098. Virgo, if you're the one being pursued here, this person could have been holding off for quite a while. Okay. Why they're holding off on making this happen with anyone, and then they met you, and it's like, oh shit, like I better get to moving now. I time's a wasting. Or with you personally, and there's been like, and there's been games back and forth, and now this person's like, okay, I shouldn't have done that. That was the wrong approach. Let me figure this out now because now we've regressed in the situation, and I want my ultimate happiness with my Virgo. You know, take your pick there. All right, kind of the hermit. But there's this question of providing, of like, can I provide for Virgo? Am I enough for Virgo? Talking about the hermit. Because it almost, I can feel it like energetically, Virgo. It's like you're doing this, and this person's like, Where are you going? You know, it's, it kind of feels like that. Kind of feels like that. Talking about the hermit for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November. Talking about the hermit for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November. Someone shines. I don't know what that's about. That's cute. That just that's really what they, what I just heard. Someone shines. Someone shines. Someone's probably just very radiant. Someone's probably just very radiant in their energy or has really strong energy. Tell me about the hermit for Virgo. Temperance. Someone's trying to be patient here. Sag energy. Temperance is also my fixed angel or divine intervention card. But yeah, whoever's like whoever feels this hesitation. Am I enough? I don't know if I'm enough. Oh man, I've hit the snooze button on this for too long in life or with Virgo, one or the other. Trying to find their balance, but also trying to be patient with themselves. 
trying to be patient with themselves. I feel like this person might have some anxiety or maybe some issues with nervousness or anxiety, but they're they're calming it. They're doing a good job of really keeping it calm. Tell me about the hermit. Ew. Oh my, this is what they're calming. <laughs> Somebody else has anxiety here. Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. It could also be Aries or Leo, because this is restlessness. This person's trying to calm their restlessness, their, their eagerness to just jump, to just jump and pounce. They're trying really hard to calm that, really hard to calm that. Especially with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I feel like it's not only just emotional, but it's also like passionate, emotional and passionate. Those are two different things. Let's see here. Tell me more about the Hermit for, the, for Virgo. Tell me more about Hermit for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me more about Hermit. Tell me more about the Hermit. Tell me more about the Hermit. Wow, they're really like Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. This is what they're holding back. They're really holding back. And what did I say? Emotion and passion. Emotion and passion. <laughs> Love and passion. <sighs> they're trying to be patient with themselves, but it's like, what are they, what's to figure out? What's to figure out? Is this an excuse? Why does it feel like an excuse? The, 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 needing, the needing patience and like tempering their restlessness here to pounce. It's like, why hold back? Why hold back? Yeah, I, I feel like some are trying to build a nest egg first because they feel like they can't provide enough for you, Virgo. Or they're trying to work through their own blockages of not feeling good enough. Overall energy, we do have Six of Pentacles. Uh, Taurian energy. This is having balance, equal give and take. I also feel gift with this. Gifting energy. Gifting. Gifting. I feel like this person's responsible for a lot. I don't know why that's coming in strongly. This person's responsible for a lot. They might have to take care of a lot of people, a lot of hands. I'm seeing a lot of hands, a lot of hands. They could have children, not necessarily, but it's like, that's what I'm getting. It's like, they have to address a lot of people or manage a lot of people. They have to deal with a lot of people and they have to give to a lot of people. But I do feel this energy of um, just balance and reciprocity here. Yeah, I do feel like it's also relating to the resources. Virgo, I feel like this person's trying to be enough for you, but I'm sure they already are. But they want to build their nest egg first. They want to build their nest egg first. Interesting. Let's take a look at this temperance card. I'm going to use Lenormand deck on this one. Hi. I just cut my nails today too, so I can't really pick up the cards all that well. Tell me why temperance is here. Tell me why temperance is here. Why is this person taking their time? Tell me about temperance. The key, eight of pentacles. <laughs> eight of pentacles, energy of 33, which is a master number. Um, the key is like, quite, you know, it's quite literally the key. It's unlocking. Oh, it's so cute. There's like a little rose in there. Unlocking the cage, unlocking the heart. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. Um, they're trying to find the answers. That's why they're taking their time. They're trying to find their answers. But they already know what they want. They already know what they want. Tell me more about temp temperance. Tell me more about temperance. Tell me more about temperance. Why is temperance here? Why is this person holding back? What do they need a key to? Tell me about temperance. Money. It is money. I know it's weird that fish is money, but it is. <laughs> In the Norman deck, it's currency. 34, bring it down to a 7 with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to build up their nest egg. They're trying to build up their nest egg. They want to provide. They want to provide. Like I said, this person's very traditional. The energy I was picking up on. Virgo, like I said, this could be you. But it's almost like I need to be the provider. There needs to be like, like very masculine. I need to be the breadwinner. It's, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Let's see what else wants to come out. But yeah, it's money. Tell me more about temperance. I mean, even if they're not the breadwinner, they just want like a e almost like equal income relationship. <laughs> I kind of like this equal income relationship. Can tell me more about hermit. On the bottom, we've got the whip. Energy of eleven with uh knight of wands. Knight of wands. Whip is getting shit into shape, shaping up. 
getting shit ready, getting themselves ready, preparing. Yeah, this person's building a nest egg, Virgo. They want to have an equal give and take relationship and of equal footing even in the finances department, okay? So Virgo, you might make more money this per than this person. If you don't make more money than this person, um, they just are trying to build up their confidence level to feel good enough for you. Either way, that's what they want. They want equality, but I gotta be honest though, it does feel like money is at the core of it, of whatever their little hang up is, okay? That and tradition. Okay, so then we've got... The Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. So we already know what the Eight of Pentacles is. It's building that nest egg, right? Because they want equality. Equality. Equal give and take between the two of you on every level, I'm hearing. On every level. Let's look at the Ace of Wands. Let's look at the Ace of Wands. I'll use the Crystal Visions for this one. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Virgo. I'm just hearing driven, 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 driven. Very phallic energy as well. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, there's a lot of testosterone. <laughs> I just, <laughs> it just is. I'm just getting a lot of testosterone, a lot of masculine energy. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Virgo. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love for the first half of November. Time about Ace of Wands for Virgo. Time about Ace of Wands for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November. Ooh. Oh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy and the High Priestess. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Ten of Pentacles in reverse can be instability, but it's also not having the funds. <sighs> Someone might have lied about their financial situation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, someone lied about their financial situation, which is why they're working on it. Well, that's not cute. That's not a cute look. It's not a cute look to lie, right? I mean, if you don't, if you don't have, you know... If you're not Mr. Or Miss Moneybags, like that's not a big deal. But you know, to lie about it's not cool. Because high priestess is secrets. It's secrets. That's what that's literally what I'm getting. Like someone doesn't have the funds. Someone doesn't have that like long term nest egg built up. But I think someone might have said they did. Either way, that's the secret. They don't have the funds that they want. Talking about the Ace of Wands. Talking about the Ace of Wands. Talking about the Ace of Wands for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November. Wow, Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. This is coming out of a sadness or loss or depression. Someone could have lost, oh, I'm hearing divorce. Okay, someone could have been through a divorce or someone could have been through a lawsuit because I feel like it's loss of funds, loss of resources, loss of stability. Um, but getting over that, getting over that with this new connection, this feels new. I gotta be honest, guys, this feels new. This doesn't feel renewed or anything like that. This feels like a, a coming together for the first time in a romantic situation, okay? But there's so much mo concern about money surrounding it that's not being discussed or being kept a secret. Being kept a secret. Let's see what else we got with the Ace of Wands. So I'm with the Ace of Wands. Wow, yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Ah, oh, God. All these pentacles, I like, this person's really worried about money. Really, really worried about money. It's almost like, how do I come back from, like, the mistakes I've made? How do I come back from the financial mistakes I've made or the bad investment? Seven of Pentacles in the verse is a bad investment for me. Bad investment card. Talk about the Ace of Wands. Talk about the Ace of Wands for Virgo regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Got two more cards here. Ha! Huh, and there's the Emperor. We have Page of Swords with the Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. Emperor is someone who doesn't have full control over their empire or themselves, okay? Someone who's lacking confidence, uh, someone who's a little insecure, but Page of Swords, I do feel, are they are they talking or watching? Because now we've got three pages here. Hmm. <clears throat> They're doing both. They're doing both. 
They're analyzing and observing. They're observing the bad investments of the past that they've made and trying to cut the, emo cut the emotion from the loss of that, all the while hiding the fact that they don't have the resources that they might have said that they did. So they're observing. It's almost like they're starting over. Yeah, for some, they're starting over as far as building up their nest egg again. But when it comes to this connection, they want to be able to be on equal footing with the other person. Which is why they're trying to whip themselves into shape. Trying to whip themselves into shape in order to provide that equality and equal standing. And trying to figure out the solutions to building up that nest egg in a quick manner. Okay? Overall energy for the Ace of Wands. We have the Hierophant in reverse Taurian energy here. Underneath that, we do have the Eight of Pentacles again. Virgo energy, wow. Yeah, and then Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is all about building up stability again from instability and trying to learn from it. Trying to learn from it all the while doing this in the name of a connection. To be on equal footing with someone and very serious about it. No more games. For some of you, you do have a history with this person where, like I said, they probably lied about their, their resources um, or they probably acted casual with you. Either way, whatever whatever the situation was, those games are done, those games are over, and they're trying to clean up their act. They're trying to clean up their act, and they're very serious about it, okay? All right, so let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Keep in mind, all this can be vice versa. Most of you, this is a new person, though. Most of you, this is a brand new person. Any advice for Virgo? Any advice for Virgo regarding this spread? Any advice for Virgo regarding this spread? Yeah, I feel like while this person's doing this, the person that they have in mind of wanting that equal give and take with is like kind of moving along their way very quickly in like full energy. So they're trying to be patient, but they're very impatient about it at the same time. Because <laughs> like they don't want to lose this person, but they feel like they can't come to the table unless they have this nest egg to offer. Wow, interesting. Sh uh, any advice for Virgo regarding this spread? Any advice for Virgo regarding this spread? Let's see what we got here. Oh, we have rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. 49 breaking down to a four and brown bear spirit. Take the time out with energy of nine. I, I almost feel like this is saying take a chance. Actually, Brown Bear Spirit is kind of like a hermit card for me, but it's also kind of like a vacation card. It's literally taking a pause, going away a little bit, maybe in seclusion. But Rabbit Spirit is very fertile, very fertile energy, very like Empress Knight of Wands energy. And it's basically saying fortune is on your side here. Um, sorry, guys. Take that as confirmation. Um, anyway, I, that's what I feel like this is screaming. Like, hey, if you just like maybe take this person aside, just the two of you, you know, and just talk it out, it could probably work out just fine. <laughs> it could probably work to your advantage here. I also feel like um, the grind, thank you, the grind, yeah, the grind. Um, this person who is going, to, this person who's trying to figure out all the answers to building up that nest egg quickly and getting their ass into shape, whatever it is, um, it does feel like it will work out in their favor if they really do um, sorry, where are my words? If they really uh, do this in a diligent manner and really not fuck around. Let's see what else we got. Which meditation right now is very important, guys, for this time period. It's very important. Um, a lot of really, really uh, prophetic um, dreams are happening. A lot of intuitive hits are happening. If you need answers from within or externally, it's definitely time to meditate. Yeah, meditation will be key for this person as well. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh, interesting. Mouse spirit, 10 to the small things, energy of 40, breaking down to a four, and frog spirit, clear out the clutter, 28, which is a cyclical energy. This is getting rid of old shit here, okay? I feel like this is where the hangups are coming in. Getting rid of the hangups. And if there were games before, like I said, for those of history with this person, it's, it's really just doing away with those old behaviors, 
right? Doing away with those egotistical behaviors, doing away with anything that's held this person back as far as building a nest egg or being honest with this person. It's about being serious. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Mm. Okay. I'm also hearing wrap up. Wrap up here. If this person went through a divorce recently, because for some that's definitely the case, um, that really needs to be taken care of before moving forward. And any emotional hangups as well need to be addressed before moving forward. This is mostly for the emperor. I feel like the, like, the feminine energy, like I said, I feel like the feminine energy is like off this way. <laughs> acting independent, probably acting very single, um, doing their thing and doing it very quickly, like very focused on themselves. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Ah, and there's the full card. <laughs> or at least the equivalent of the full card, in my opinion, in this deck. Grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a three. It's having that conversation. 30 is um is a communication a vibration. Because three, it breaks down to three. Three is a communication vibration here, okay? But taking that chance, taking that risk to just do it, to just have the conversation here and take that chance. Underneath that, we have fox spirit. Think on your feet. 27 breaking down to a nine i love the fox energy it's so it's kind of fun it's kind of mischievous but it's very intelligent very intelligent i feel like this is basically saying like communicate communicate what you want in an effective direct manner and be smart about it oh yeah oh yeah look at this parrot spirit watch your words 45 breaking down to a nine here you got two nines right here completions yeah using using um Oh, how do I say this? Not just being careful with your words, but like, I don't want to say be a good talker. I don't, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Um, but just to communicate effectively. Communicate effectively about what you want and be logical about it. Be rational about it. Be realistic. Thank you. That's the word. And be realistic in expectations. This is all for the masculine energy, by the way. This is all advice for the masculine energy underneath that, because I just had to. Otter spirit, you are never alone. 42, breaking down to a six. My two of cups of lovers, uh, soulmate energy card here. Two peas in a pod. I got your back. You got my back. That's what this person wants. This person wants equal give and take, a very healthy, healthy relationship here that leads to long-term stability. That's what this person wants, but they have to take the risk in actually communicating that, okay? Because right now, I don't think they're talking about the fact that they're building a nest egg because they don't feel good enough. They, they, need, they, need, to, they need to deal with those hangups, okay? They need to deal with those hangups. They need to get rid of those hangups. Um, for some, like I said, there's a hangup about tradition. I don't know why that came in so strongly, but meditating will provide some answers. But I feel like also just talking to this person and like maybe going on a trip with them or just being like, hey, can we take like, you know, a few hours just away from people just to talk? I feel like will be very, very beneficial and will actually serve in this masculine's favor here. OK, wow. All right, Virgos, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram and I will see you guys later. Namaste.